God, we have found very cute family of vervid monkeys. All of them curled up together. I'm sure they've had a, quite a, a, <laughs> a freezing night, so they're all sleeping. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? I mean, it almost makes you feel sorry for them. I'm sure they've been struggling, but now it's only going to get better, guys, because the sun is coming up. So all of them bunched up for warmth. It's uh, like we said, it was quite cold when we started moving around this morning. And I think we can see that some of the animals were also dealing with it or how they were dealing with it. So I just count three of them all clumped, just trying to, to keep warm. Like we said, they are in a very good spot because the sun is starting to shine. It has risen above the horizon. So it's only get warmer for now. I feel sorry for them. Seems like they're suffering. I have seen myself in that position before. Bobby, you're saying that we should give them a blanket. <laughs> yes, I think we should. Maybe a woolly blanket so that they can keep very, very warm in this cold winter mornings. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. And for a moment there, we couldn't even see them in the tree. We just thought that they were part of the branch. But there we go. Three monkeys blending perfectly well into the branches of a marula tree and obviously the lack of movement of, of of them not even doing anything just allows them to blend even better it looked like one of those thick branches sometimes that the trees get I mean if you have a look like this it's we know where to look but it looks like there's nothing really going on in that tree and then all of a sudden just a bit of movement or something your brain picks up something that looks like it should be but not quite and then when we stopped and we had a bit of a look with the binoculars and we found these three monkeys <laughs> shame Rajni, you're wondering if vervet monkeys have coats to keep the, to help them keep warm in the winter months. Well, yes, that they do the same as the impala do, the pilo erection, whereby they will raise their ha hair and try to trap the um, the warmth that is being irradiated by their bodies to keep warm for a little bit longer. But what they're also doing now is they're using the sun to their advantage to keep warm. And you see as well, they're bundled up together. So for a lot of animals, in addition. As the winter months start coming around and they start molting and changing their head and they have a thicker coat for the winter months and as summer comes along then they they change their hair again or they start losing some of their hair and their their coat becomes a bit thinner than what it normally would be just because to adapt and to help them survive with the temperature difference between the very very cold winter and the very very hot summer They are so sweet. Normally they're quite naughty creatures running around on the ground looking for fruits and seeds and especially if there's a lar lodge around they will be there trying to steal little bits of food and pretty much anything else that they can find. But I think my heart is pretty full for them right now. David, you're asking if trees with leaves, if they wouldn't be warmer. Uh, they would be. They would keep them warmer throughout the night. But I think maybe these guys just found themselves in this tree last night. Um, because it's a good tree to support their weight. Now, the problem is also that there aren't too many thick trees around this area. So I think they chose that particular one because it's one of the tallest ones and one of the few ones that can accommodate the three of them at a certain height away from all potential predators. Some of the other trees around here are more like bushes, very thin branches, and they're not too far from the ground. So you see everything around us might not be that suitable for them to spend the night in. So I think maybe they had to compromise in between finding something high enough away from all the predators instead of going perhaps somewhere lower that might have been a bit thicker but not as safe. You see pretty much everything around us looks the way that you're looking at the screen now. So it's mostly bushes and no large trees around here with lots of leaves. I doubt that they will spend tomorrow night around here, perhaps they will. Um, but they'll probably be looking for thicker trees. Justin, you're wondering if 
if I think our life would be easier if we had a tail too. Is that correct, Megan? I, well, I don't know. I don't really know what I would do with the tail. <laughs> the tail for the vervet monkeys, they, um, it's not prehensile, like the one for some of the monkeys in other parts of the world. So they can't wrap them around branches of tree and balance or hang from their tails. They just mostly use them for, for balance when they jump from tree to tree to keep uh, a steady um, direction. So I'm not sure. Maybe if they, if they had thicker tails, they could use them to wrap themselves around it and just use them as a scarf maybe, but us humans with tails, I'm not too sure. It would be quite an interesting thought to see a lot of people walking around with tails. Because then knowing humans, we would all fashion different tails and we would have dragon tails or, you know, covers for tails and all sorts of different things. Maybe leopard print tails. <laughs> that would be quite interesting. Shem, I think our monkeys are... Are you starting to wake up, little one? I see a head turning and facing. Sorry, hurt. <laughs> I just saw the black of the face moving and I would would be quite nice now if they started grooming themselves but I think the morning is only gonna start coming oh hello only gonna start coming a bit later on oh so cold Alyssa you're saying sweet morning cuddles it is it's a very sweet scene of this family all together I really have no words other than I find it very, very endearing for all these monkeys. So, mu so much like humans. I reckon if we had to live up a tree and fight the cold, that is exactly the way we would do it. Everyone trying to hug each other and putting our hands in all the warm places and our faces. So well done, monkeys. It's interesting to see how all the different animals adapt to the conditions that we have in this particular area. And like we said, we know we complain quite a bit about the cold when we go out on drive, but we're not the only ones. 